In this video, we will find out about Einstein's relativity theory and how it explains the mysteries of the universe. First, let's talk about Newtonian mechanics and Maxwell's equations. Newtonian mechanics is the application of Newton's laws of motion. It stated that all inertial frames are retained and space and time are absolute, meaning that if you do a physical experiment in a bus at rest or in a moving bus in EDSA, the results are always the same. Also, space and time is unchanging. On the other hand, Maxwell's equations describe electromagnetic fields, and unlike Newtonian mechanics, the results of his equations are always changing, which depends on the situation. In the 1900s, Albert Einstein created the theory of special relativity, which contradicted Newtonian mechanics and was inspired by Maxwell's equations. Special relativity states that space and time are not independent of one another, and they can be mixed. Thus, it must be considered as the same object, which we will call as space-time. Special relativity also states that space and time are relative, and they depend on reference frames. The consequences of space-time are time dilation and length contraction. Time dilation is the slowing of time that is experienced by objects in motion relative to the observer, and length contraction is when the observer's measure of a moving object is different from its measure being at rest. Special relativity has two postulates. First is the principle of relativity, and second is the principle of invariant light speed. The theory states that the speed of light is constant. So whether you are in your bedroom or in a moving rocket, the speed of light is still the same. Another finding of special relativity is that energy and mass are equivalent. This led to the formation of the equation E is equals to mc squared. Through this discovery, the perception that mass and energy are different has changed. It also led to the development of nuclear power and nuclear weapons, where one tiny atom contains large amounts of energy. Also note that the speed of light is very large. The speed of light is denoted by c and is equals to 3 times 10 raised to 8 meters per second. Because of how big the speed of light is, we are not experiencing the time dilation and length contraction significantly. They are indeed occurring, but it is unnoticed in daily life. Additionally, nothing can move faster than the speed of light. To sum it all, special relativity described that space-time is relative, so there are always different outcomes that depends on the reference frame or the situation. Now, let us discuss another theory of Einstein, which is the general relativity theory. General relativity has two postulates. First, local physics is governed by special relativity. And second, an observer cannot distinguish locally between gravity and acceleration. For many years, the world believed that gravity is a mysterious force that acts at the distance from one object to another, but Einstein proved otherwise. Let us use an illustration. A ball was placed in the middle of a trampoline. The ball would press down on the fabric, making a curve. Then, a marble was placed at the edge of the trampoline. It would then spiral inwards and towards the ball. Now, try to imagine that the ball is the sun and the marble is the Earth. Since the Sun is the most massive object in the solar system, it dwarfs the space-time around it, making a curve. That is why the solar system is held together. Through this, Einstein explained gravity. Large amounts of matter warps the space-time, causing a curvature in the universe. Thus, gravity is the curvature of the universe and is caused by massive bodies and it determines the path that objects travel. This also explains how a black hole is made. A tremendous amount of mass can deform space-time and form a black hole, and it results to a strong gravity, which then pulls objects inside of it. But how does general relativity differ from special relativity? Well, general relativity explains the law of gravitation and its interaction with other forces of nature while special relativity explains physical phenomena without gravity. Einstein's relativity theory was truly revolutionary, and it challenged classical physics in his time. It 
also contributed to the formation of other theories. According to the general theory of relativity, space-time warps and stretches. And as light passes through the stretch of space-time, light also stretches. The light then becomes a longer wavelength after passing through the space-time. This phenomenon is called cosmological redshift. The cosmological redshift was first described by Edwin Hubble, and it was used by Georgia Remate to create the Big Bang Theory.